this is Google Meet. It's built into the Google Suite. You can use Meet to create something like a face-to-face -face session would be in a class. This is called synchronous learning or learning at the same time. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating a session. Once I create the session, I can join it. Once I join, I'm going to get a code that I can just click to copy. And then I can distribute that to my students through email or Schoology. We recorded two different screens. In the top left corner, I'll put the name of the person whose screen that you're seeing. Hey, we made it. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. We've made it. So, so everyone knows what's happening here. This is a way that teachers can connect with students. For the students here, did you have a hard time uh, making the connection to this? No. No. Okay. All you did was click the link in the email. Is that all you had to do? And it took you right yeah, to this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of features in here that are very similar to a class. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see, uh, first off, this is really cool. There's a thing called uh, closed captioning. If you turn that on, every time somebody talks, it does real-time translation into text and shows the text on the screen. Google seems to be really good at that, so I think they're throwing it into a lot of their products. And if you want to turn that off, now when I did that, could you guys see it or was that just for me? I think that was just for you because I couldn't see it unless I turned it on. Same for everybody else? Yep. Yeah, I think we'll have to, each person will have to turn it on separate. Okay. I'm going to turn mine off because it takes up a chunk of the screen. <laughs> now, something else uh, anyone can do, let me see, I think if, if I pin someone. Does everyone uh, see Adrian now? Uh, mine's still three squares, so. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Um, so there, so there is a chat in here. Yeah, there, there is a chat feature. So if uh, people want to, they can type in there. Uh, that's probably handy if, say, the teacher's uh, introducing some material and wants a way to get feedback right away, students could uh, type anything in the chat and the teacher could just kind of keep it open on the side to see it. Now, I want to open up a browser and present uh, a window. So can you guys see my Google uh, search screen? Yep. Now, it looks a little different yeah. for me. For me, it just says that I'm presenting. But what I can do is I can go back to that screen and um, I could do a search. Now, can you guys all see the search that I just did? Lauren, yeah. what did I just search yeah. for? Yeah. <laughs> 
online learning. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> um, yep, looks good. So a teacher could share either a screen from a browser, you could, you could share an app. Let me open up uh, an app. I'm going to stop presenting my browser and I'm going to share another window with you. So everybody see PowerPoint at this point? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Popped right up. Josh, what uh, features am I forgetting about? I think that's most of them. Um, you know, you can pin and unpin certain users so that you focus just in on their screen. So uh, I can also, if there's, if uh, Adrian starts being real chatty, I can uh, mute her microphone from here. That's, that's correct. correct. Uh, <laughs> I, I think what? that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Google Meet. A special thanks to Adrian and Lauren for helping us out today. I think they had a little bit of fun.